Hey everyone, uh, I am here, I'm International Passport, and I'm here with the wonderful, your name please? Noe. Nice to meet you, Noe. Um, nice. So Noe, I have a couple of questions uh, for you. Uh, I say my first question is, uh, where are you from in Japan? Uh, Fukuoka, a south part cool. of Japan. Fantastic, awesome. And would you recommend people to go there? Is it a nice place? Yes. Awesome. That's perfect. The Fantastic. food is good. People is very friendly. I recommend it. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, next question for you, Noe, is um, do you cook and clean? Hmm? Uh, do you cook and clean? Do I cook? cook? Yes. Yes, I do. Fantastic. Awesome. Um, so what is your favorite dish that you like to cook for your boyfriend? Uh, Japanese food. Um, he likes miso soup. <laughs> miso soup. Okay, awesome. Yes. And what is your favorite dish that you you cook? Is it okonomiyaki? Is it takoyaki? What do you? What's your favorite dish to cook for anyone? Your signature dish. Uh, mm, I would say Korean rice. Curry rice. Oh, curry rice. Curry rice. Mm. Awesome. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Next question for you is um, when it comes to personality, uh, what kind of personality do you look for in a man? Is it kindness? Is it respect? Is it masculine? Do you mind breaking, down, breaking that down for us? Mm, I would say first it's uh friendly and kind and loyal yeah like that awesome thank you and when it comes to physical attraction what do you physically look for in a man is it big muscles <laughs> you know is it um uh, you know really really tall for me. is that for me yeah for you yes. for Japanese oh for you for me, I think I don't judge any, any anything about the looks. So, but I think mm, tall. Yeah, maybe tall. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, uh, tall, tall, taller than you. <laughs> yeah, taller than me. But I, I don't care actually. I don't care anything. Okay, awesome. I'm Next question looking, for you is, I'm looking at uh, personality the most. Awesome. So, mm -hmm. next question for you is um, what is your ideal first date with someone that you like? Is it cinema, walk in the park? Is it dinner? What's your ideal first date? Uh, lunch. Okay, and what kind of Where? lunch would that be? Would that be a sandwich or like, a um, coffee or that cake? Like uh, uh, hamburgers or yeah, hamburgers at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That, that is what I love to hear. Awesome. We love hearing that. Uh, so next question for you, Noah, know is um, are you a feminine woman? Mm, one more, please. Um, are you a feminine, feminine woman? So are you very girly? Do you cut your nails? Yes. Uh, I think I try to do that. <laughs> okay. So let me ask this now. What makes you a feminine woman? So do you paint your nails? Are you very girly? Do you wear long dresses? What makes you a feminine woman? Do you wear makeup? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. I like makeup and I like... I like cooking too, and uh, I like also. I also like to dress fancy and go shopping with my girls, so <laughs> I try to do that. That is awesome! Fantastic. What yeah. do you like about what do you like about your boyfriend? Uh, 
tell me the things you like about him. Is he funny? Is he kind? Is he loving? Uh, he's, like I said, he's, he's loyal and, um, what did I say? Oh, yeah, honest. And he's, uh, he loves me. So that's why I love him. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. And last question yeah. is, um, okay. what, what makes a man a gentleman to you? Uh, I find like a lot of Japanese women, they say, um, you know, they want a gentleman, but what is a gentleman to you personally as a woman? What makes a man a gentleman? For Japanese? So basically he's asking like, what makes a guy a gentleman to you? Like, cause he's met other Japanese girls and they say, I want a gentleman. So what do you think they mean? I, I want a gentleman. Uh, he, you want a gentleman? No. Japanese girls normally say they want a gentleman. Mm -hmm. So what do they mean by that? Ah, uh, for Japanese girls? Mm -hmm. um, mm, it means like in Japan, we have, we have, mm, no, we have no culture to have a dating with it a lot of people before have before relationship so like mm, so for example uh i dated i i was i'm dating with a guy so um i even if other guy ask me to date but i i will I'm I'm gonna say like no because I'm dating with him, so that's why um, Japanese girls want the one who I did. You know what I mean? Like, oh. I, like I did. So if if he is dating me, so I don't want him to date with any girls. Oh. So that means like gentleman <laughs> i think so mm -hmm. no cheating and no no doubt like that awesome awesome thank you very much uh for that breakdown the king dj come come in the video we want to uh, uh, obviously show you off um so sorry as a, as a great that couple. <laughs> look at this man look at this look at his brothers man we have <laughs> We have an amazing couple here, black man, a beautiful Japanese woman, and we want to see more, more of this. I want you to speak about how how amazing your Japanese girlfriend is, what she does for you. Um, you know, break down, you know, your relationship. You know, what you know, what is it like dating a Japanese girlfriend like her? Okay. Um, so basically, um, what I loved about her was when when we first met like she was uh pretty stubborn because of her like past relationships you know and uh she wasn't letting a lot of stuff slide because she knows what she wants in a guy and she don't want to be like played with basically so um i did a small bit of like like it, i wouldn't necessarily call it chasing but i pursued her to to show her the you know that I could be that guy for her. And once when she pretty much, you know, let the walls down in order to let me, you know, be with her, you know, she became, she was very loving. Well, she is very loving. And like, I wasn't really expecting her to like cook for me as wow. much as she did. <laughs> and she cooked for me a lot and it was amazing. Like every like dish she made was like, it was like magic. Like, <laughs> like I loved it too, like a lot. And like, she's supposed to fly back tomorrow and I'm going to miss like her. And I'm especially <laughs> going to miss the food because, you know, one way to a man's heart is through their stomach. So, <laughs> and she definitely knows how to do that. So, and I'm, I'm glad I chose her because I didn't expect her to be that great of a chef, you know, because dealing with a lot of American, well, not a lot, but dealing with American girls, they're not really trained to really um, cook. <laughs> as much so um not not like olden days so it's kind of like 
you you just get caught off guard dealing with some somebody that actually knows what they're doing. Um, she's very apologetic. Um, I love that about her. Like, you know, like if I do something wrong or if she does something wrong, we both would be like, yeah, sorry, sorry. But um, and um, she she knows how to dress really well, as you can tell. She knows how to dress without showing revealing too much. Um, wow. Um, and like in the beach, you know, she will wear a bikini and you know top and everything, but it's like it's not like. <laughs> how like Western women does do things where it's like, they're wearing like a G string <laughs> at the beach. <laughs> but um, yeah, like loving, uh, she's, she's very honest, like brutally honest and very loyal, like to a T like, like I remember when she was in Japan and I was stuck here in the States and uh, a guy was like trying to talk to her and I'm on the phone with her. And she's just like, no, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I wow. felt the like, like she might go knock him out or something. <laughs> so, but um, like, I, I know I can trust her with her being by herself. You know, the, the main thing I fear when it comes to her being by herself is other people, because, you know, I don't know how strong the guy is on the other side of the phone or whatever. So I, I fear for like her safety, but in Japan it's super safe. So I don't really fear for her safety really there, but like here, yeah, like that's why I'm always like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, trying to protect her as much <laughs> as I can when when I'm like at work when I can't really be there for. Her. Um, wow, yeah. So that's basically it. Like she's great. Let me uh, let me let me also ask this brother two more questions before mm -hmm. we go live. Um, obviously, American women they're masculine, they're not feminine, they're not submissive. Does your girlfriend give you? femininity is she submissive and is she cooperative those are those are key points there does she allow you to lead and and puts puts her life in your hands as, as the man or puts you know puts her you know puts her femininity in, femininity in your hands as a masculine man do you get cooperation femininity and submissiveness from your from your japanese girlfriend brother um i would say yes like she's very cooperative like when we when we plan to do something we pretty much do it um and like when it comes to like the leading aspect, I believe that comes a little bit later in in life with the whole leading thing, because once we were married and have kids, you'll see that a lot more. But um, like through, through the basic things, like I have no issues with like when we plan stuff like, you know, if I if I were to plan something out, you know, we just go to it to a T like there's no like arguments or questioning it behind it. Um, feminine, obviously, yes, like she dresses really well. Like, I don't have to worry about her, like exposing herself out in public. She even asks me sometimes, like, you know, is it okay to like post something? Because wow. like, it's kind of like dealing, it's kind of like being in a Muslim relationship almost where you're just like, you know, her body is my body. My body is her body kind of thing. Like, you know, so it's like, you know, she asked me like, Hey, is this good? You know? And I'm just like, yay or nay. So, yeah, that's kind of like an example of it. Wow. So she asks you before she posts up on social media, is it okay for me to post? That is that is amazing, bro. Wow. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Um, I wish you both the best. Uh, I know you're getting married soon, so congratulations. Um, Momo, please look after him. Love him. Care for him. Kiss him. Be there for him. Um, Mr. King DJ, look after her, love her, kiss her, be there for her. That's what oh, yeah. a, a married couple does. <laughs> you know, you, you have to look after each other. You know, there'll be parts where you want to agree on many things, but at the, at the end of the day, you have to love each other, care for each other, be there for each other. And I hope that your marriage lasts forever. I hope you grow old together. I hope you have many, many, many children, many children. And... Um, you know, looking forward to <laughs> looking forward to seeing five babies in the near the next five years. <laughs> Fantastic. Appreciate that. Awesome. International passport. Shout out to both of these people. And I'll see you brothers in the next video.